What is it? It's a um, frog. Can you just take us through the race thing, kind of how everything uh, <laughs> unfolded from your perspective and your thoughts on the race? Um, yeah, I think it went pretty good. Definitely fast. It kind of went how I thought it would go. I personally ran the race the same way I've been running since the round. So um, going out, I mean, I'm always going to go out because that's just how I run. So I mean, going out, definitely felt them on me. But that's, I knew that was going to happen because we're in a final race and we have, you know, we ran 157, 158 in the semifinals. So I knew it was going to be pretty fast. But um, I kind of was leading it, I'm pretty sure, throughout the whole race um, up until like the last 50. But um, I mean, I just wanted to keep my composure. And when I felt Ajay, just kicked it a little bit. and. I just wanted to win, so I got it. I hope that was a good explanation. <laughs> How do you feel like to be paused? To be, sorry? To be paused by Aja. I imagine that hasn't happened to you for a while. Um, I mean, I, it was a race. <laughs> I mean, I just kept on running, kept on fighting. Um, I wanted to win. Uh, I don't really have any feelings when it comes to running. I'm not going to cry in the race. So, I mean, it was it was, it was was fine. I mean, I'm, I'm never mad at someone coming in and pushing me in a race. I definitely love getting pushed, uh, especially towards past time. So, I mean, I'm happy that I reacted the way I did and I came home with the win. The third 200, like, it seemed like it slowed a bit. Or was that was that by design or did that just that's how the race happened? Um, I don't really know. I'm not really sure. I feel like when you're in a final, you don't really think of you at least you can't really think about it I don't know where the time is I don't think we have timers well I guess we do but I don't really know I don't even know what we came through 400 I think when you're in the final you're kind of just going off of who's competing with you and like where people are in the race and how you're feeling and um, I, don't know, I wasn't really keeping track of the timing and the pacing I was just kind of kind of uh, just being competitive in the next few of my race you could feel them still on your shoulder at that point um during what part with with 200 to go uh, yeah, I mean, I knew we were still super close with 200 to go, but um, I just wanted to push off of the turn. Um, I kind of made my move off the, you know, the last 200 and then just did it again, the final 100, or at least that's what I thought. <laughs> we're, th we're about three weeks away now from World Championships, and not only World Championships, but the first World Championships on U.S. soil. So just your thoughts on being able to stay home and compete here again at Hayward Field for a World Championship. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. I know that, you know, this is just a little taste of what we're going to get in three weeks. Uh, the crowd was amazing here, just as they are, you know, since last year. Um, but, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited just to have that, I guess they call it, like, home field advantage. Um, but, I mean, just having World Tour is definitely awesome. It's definitely good for America um, and track and field, you know, people that don't really know anything about track and field. Um, excited to have good races and good competition, and I'm excited for the two girls, Ajay and Raven, to also compete. When you went to the start line, did you know that Brandon was on the team? I did. I watched him when I was uh, in the check-in area. I watched the like little things, but yeah, I saw. I saw the I saw the moment where you guys hugged on the infield. Pretty pretty special moment for it's the two of you. It's definitely special. Um, like last year was just kind of his first taste of USA's, and I mean it was it was, it was a big one just because it was Olympic trials, and I mean. He definitely was a little upset just because he didn't even make it through, I guess, semifinals. But, I mean, this year, just this whole year in general has been a, a mindset change for him. He's definitely run every race with intention, whether it went good or bad. He knew what he wanted out of it. And I think just at this point, the past couple of weeks for him has been good just because he kind of has gotten a little, a little more level-minded and, um, you know, he was just ready to compete. He knew what he wanted, and uh, it's just nice seeing how much work he puts in. And I was just able there to just be supportive of him, and I'm glad that it kind of pulled through um, today. How have you dealt with the extra attention and expectations that come with being an Olympic champion this year? Yeah, I mean, I think this year definitely, and I, at USA is, I guess you could say, because I don't really think it was like this anywhere else, but I think just these past couple of races here, I've definitely felt like, you know how people, you know, they usually say like, oh, you know, you have a target on your back, but I never really felt that until today. Not today, but just like this whole weekend, or this whole week, I mean, and I mean like, it's fine, this was going to happen. Um, I knew, you know, when you do things, you, um, you have accolades and things like that, you know, eventually you're going to be the one that people are looking out for and people are, you know, ready to attack when it comes to running. And so, I mean, it's been, it's, it's been different, but it hasn't been anything that was like, you know, too much. It's just something I'm just going to have to get used to and, um, you know, just work with it and continue to do what I do, which is run uh, the best that I can and hopefully keep getting more championships. Was it kind of fun that there was somebody there with 50 to go? <laughs> uh, it definitely, like... It was. It, I guess it got it kind of caught me um, a little off guard just because 
usually, I mean, usually the last like 100, I'm like, oh, time to run for my life because I don't know where any woman is and I don't know how far they are, but I'm just gonna run so I can get, you know, my spot. Um, so it was definitely, it was definitely good. I'm glad that I could have a little kick in my legs. It kind of just, you know, shows where I am and shows the competitive side of me, I guess you could say, running with someone else um, that's, you know, right there neck and neck with you. So it definitely was pretty fun. I'm glad I got to experience that because who knows how many more times it's going to happen for the rest of the year. Yeah. Are you racing all between now and then? Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I would love to do a 400 though. Just to, just to do it. How fast <laughs> could you go right now? I have no idea. I really want to run 49. Like, I feel like all of my 50 points are just a little lame. But I want to run 49 just, just so I can know that I'm fast. Uh, but. I don't know. We're not really sure. Um, probably just going to train, but we'll see. But maybe a 400 off the walls? Is that something you might do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how I'm feeling after the world. <laughs>